So I've built a simple compass application that just displays the data that is captured from the, uh, from the compass itself. And what I want to show here is what it looks like on different devices. So you can see here, this is my main PC, um, and this is just a standard PC. You can see I have a, a machine sitting on my desk, uh, and this desktop here does not have a compass. A desktop machine generally doesn't have a compass sensor. And so I've detected that and displayed that to the user on the screen. Hopefully that isn't a common occurrence, but it is something we should be prepared for. The next machine I have here, this is a, a prototype uh, Qualcomm device. This isn't a, a, a marketable, like, you can't buy this tablet in stores, uh, but it is one that I've had for a little while uh, to get a feel for what an ARM-based tablet looks like. And you can see that I have um, it updating every time that we get a, a different reading. So as I move this a little bit, you'll notice just by twisting and turning my um, tablet just a little bit that I can get a different reading. Um, and so that is... Um, the Qualcomm tablet. Over here I have an actual surface with a type cover and you can see that on this one as I twist and move it I also get a reading. But the one thing that I found interesting was that with none of these devices, this is my Samsung tablet that I've used in several other demos, um, and this one doesn't give me any readings at all regardless of how I move it, uh, but it does recognize that the sensor exists which I think is interesting so I'm not sure uh, exactly what's going on there. But uh, the point of this video is to show that your mileage will vary and that you really need to think about um, what your app is supposed to do and let the user know when they load it, uh, what kind of capabilities they should expect to have because um, as you can see each one of these gives us a very different value even. Uh, my Qualcomm tablet here, even if I turn it to the same angle uh, as the surface, this gives me a magnetic north of 19, this one gives me a magnetic north of 222. So my guess uh, is that the compass is oriented differently in these two devices and that'll be something to consider as well as to let the user know um, what up is on each device. So just something to think about.